Hey Mole Gamers, welcome back! Today we're taking a look at Shank 2. Shank 2 for the Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, and PC. So how does it measure up? Let's find out. Well, it's time to meet the most overtly masculine heroes to date. He kills anyone who looks at him wrong with his signature shanks. The only medicine he needs for his wounds is a bottle of rum. He knows how to treat a lady. He's Shank. The story begins with Shank returning home. The old cartels are gone, but a more formidable military regime has occupied his home. While their purpose is not yet known, well, they do do some human trafficking. He smells blood. This anti-hero becomes the most valuable asset the rebel forces have no control over. Shank 2 is a straight-up side-scrolling action title, a la Contra out of some of the great games of the past. It hits the ground running, pitting you with your shanks up against the military. The action is fast and tactical as you must choose which enemies to kill first. And when I say kill, I don't just mean defeat. Trusty chainsaw in hand, you'll be cutting through bad guys like a hot knife through human flesh. And if that sounds appealing, there's more. Like every side-scroller, you need a good boss fight or two. Shank 2 gives you some sadly repetitive moments though. Most of the bosses have a pattern that they'll follow. Once you recognize this pattern, it's just a matter of dodging. Not really that interesting. So how does Shank 2 stack up? Well, this is a solid action title that'll keep you coming back for more. The gameplay is simple yet rewarding. Also, each enemy offers a unique kill move that can be used on them. As a throwback to old side scrolling games, this is one you'll enjoy. Granted, I do take quite a few poundings when I play this game on normal from enemies just ganging up on you. From a moral standpoint though, I can't recommend Shank 2. The game is extremely brutal, and the stylized killing just makes it even more so. There are very many sexual references, as well as the constant use of alcohol for healing. This game definitely earned its mature rating. I can't recommend this one with kids, and I can't recommend this one to people who are conservative when it comes to violence or even religiously conservative. 